Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today, I'm going to be wrapping up the holiday, you know, Christmas reviews here. Um, this will be the last one uh, for this holiday season. And I will be talking about the Christmas Chronicles Part 2, starring Kurt Russell as Santa Claus and Goldie Hawn as Mrs. Claus. Um, of course... Uh, Goldie had a cameo in the first movie as Mrs. Claus, but in this one, her role is greatly expanded, which is nice. It was nice to see her and uh, Kurt Russell in a movie together again. It's been quite a while, but it was nice to see them together again. And this is a good sequel. Um, I like both films equally. I don't really think one was better than the other. But this was a good sequel. I did like this one, the story is really good. I like how they spent most of the movie at the North Pole um, and, you know, dealt with some, you know, more Christmassy fantasy type stuff. But this is a this is a good sequel. Good follow-up, in my opinion. Um, now, this is a Netflix film. And that's how I feel about Netflix. I'm sure you already know this. But, um... You know, again, the first movie, I remember hearing about it. Like, Kurt Russell's playing Santa Claus? What? Like, and, um, I did see a trailer when it came out, but I didn't, I didn't see it back in 2018 when it first came out. And this one, to be honest, I, you know, I had heard that they were doing a sequel, but I guess it really went under the radar. I guess, you know, Netflix is still under fire and, and, and dealing with the, uh, the backlash from cuties and they deserve it. They, they definitely deserve it. It's not like they don't deserve it. They definitely deserve it. Um, so I guess this one kind of got shoved under the, uh, under the carpet, under the radar, so to speak a little bit, but you know, eh, it is what it is, but I did like it again. This was a, a good, sequel a good follow-up to the first film um and again you know like with the first movie i like really like the world that these movies created the the north pole and and the elves and and that kind of stuff the more christmasy type thing um the set design was really cool you know of course there's cg in the film but i can give the movie the pass because the story was good the performances were good um i could definitely overlook the CG in this film, you know, for, for those reasons. Um, but the world that these movies created was really cool. I really enjoyed that. And, uh, that's again, one of the, you know, like, like with the Santa Claus movies and stuff like that, that's one of the things I really look into, um, when it comes to Christmas films is the, the world that these movies create. And, the North Pole and the gadgets and all that. Like, that's, you know, fun to me. And I, 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 again, I really look for that kind of stuff when I watch these type of fantasy, you know, Christmas movies. But yeah. But this time around, um, the, the kids from the first movie, their mom has a new boyfriend who's actually played by Tyrese Gibson, which is cool. He has a small part in the film. And they are on vacation in Mexico. And, of course, nowhere near snow and, and the cold and more Christmas-type uh, stuff. So the little girl from the first film, she uses up a wish that Santa gave her at the end of the first movie. And her and her mom's boyfriend's son are transported to the North Pole. And they spend the night there with Santa and Mrs. Claus. And they end up having to save the day. Because there was a, a guy who used to be an elf who became bad and lost his elf powers. And now he wants to take over Christmas and do like an evil Christmas. So they have to help Santa and Mrs. Claus out to stop this guy. And that's, again, that's the plot in a nutshell. But I like that. I liked how the majority of the movie took place at the North Pole. You know, because if, if they would have just did something similar to the first movie, it wouldn't have been that good. Um, but they changed it up a little bit. Again, I liked how there was, you know, the first movie 
was an accident. You know, they had to help Santa because they screwed up. They made a mistake. And this one, there's a little, you know, a little bit of a villain in the story, which was nice. Um, so again, that wasn't that wasn't bad. That was that was okay. I did not mind that at all. Um, again, I really liked how Mrs. Claus was in the movie more. Again, in the first movie, she just had a cameo, but in this movie, she's featured in it more. It was again, it's nice to see Kurt and Goldie Hawn together. I think this is their first movie since Overboard, um, which that was over thirty years ago. But you know, it was it was nice and good performances. I think you know, again, Kurt Russell was perfect as Santa. You could tell he was having a lot of fun in the role and. A lot of the one-liners and the jokes really landed, which was cool. Um, Goldie Hawn was great as, you know, Mrs. Claus. I thought the kids did fine um, because they added. The only thing was it would have been nice if they had the older brother from the first movie, but I get why they didn't include him in this film. So instead we have uh, Tyrese's son in the film, you know, join the, the little girl on the journey. And that was fine. You know, he... His mom passed away as well, and, you know, he's dealing with some things. So there's, you know, that, you know, the tugging at the heartstrings and the the warm and fuzziness of, you know, pretty much every Christmas movie out there. Again, there has to be some kind of, a, you know, unwritten uh, rule book for Christmas films. And one of the unwritten rules is, you know, they have to be warm and fuzzy and make you feel good. Um, I'm, again, I'm sure that's one of the... Uh, the unwritten rules in that book, you know, that's out there in, in Hollywood somewhere when they make these type of films. But no, I thought that was fine. Um, again, the like I said earlier, the the world that they created, like Mrs. Claus gives this kid um, like explosive cookies and special cookies, and they're eating, and it looks like candy, but it's like real food. So that was cool. Again, the set design and. And the production design is really nice. Um, you know, it definitely fits the movie well. And again, when, particularly, you know, again, just my personal opinion, but when I watch these type of films, that's what I like to see. And once again, I like to see the, the Christmas world, you know, the North Pole or whatever that these movies create. Because I think that's, when they do these kind of fantasy Christmas movies... I think that's really the fun part, at least in my opinion, is to see, you know, what they have come up with, you know, how creative they can get with the gadgets and Santa and the elves and, and that sort of thing. But, you know, again, that's one of the things I like. But it's a lot of fun. Again, I love how the elves all turn basically evil and they had to go find these, you know, mystical elves and to get help, you know, and they had to get the Christmas star and good stuff. You know, again, it's, it's a fun, you know, fantasy type of Christmas movie, which, you know, I do like, again, these quite a bit. But again, you know, Kurt Russell really makes these movies. Um, like I said, it's been a, like, I don't even remember the last starring role that Kurt Russell had. All the other, all the stuff that he's been in more recently, whether it's Fast and the Furious or... Um, you know, he was the narrator once upon a time in Hollywood and he had a part in that. And I guess he's one of the main characters in Hateful Eight, but I mean, when was the last movie where he was the main guy and it was just him? I don't even remember to be perfectly honest. I'd really have to look at Kurt's filmography, but, um, but I mean, he's almost 70. So, I mean, it's really, he's really at that point where he doesn't need to be the star. I get it. But it's always nice when one of your favorite actors is still, you know, the, the lead role. And again, you could tell in both of these movies that they were having a lot of fun, you know. And, and you know, he really, you could tell he really enjoyed playing the character. And I'm glad, honestly, I'm glad that they made a sequel. I don't know if they're ever going to make any more, but... You know, the, uh, this one was fine. You know, maybe we'll get one or two more. I don't, I don't know, but, you know, if, but then again, if they don't make any more, I'm fine with, with either, uh, both of these films. I'm fine with both of these. Um, definitely, 
you know, if, if they do not make any more, that's okay. But if they happen to make a couple more of these, maybe one more, that would be nice. A little trilogy, you know, a little holiday trilogy wouldn't be so bad, in my opinion. So anyway, um, I know this is probably a lot shorter than my, my usual stuff. Um, but that's pretty much it. Again, I really enjoyed both of these. I, I had never seen the first one, and this one just came out last month. So I gave it a shot, you know, enjoyed both of them. But uh, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed my review of not only this, but the first uh, Christmas Chronicles movie. And that's it. That is it for the movie reviews of this year. Um, I've got one more review to get up, and of course that's Power Rangers Beast Morphers, which will be the next video. And um, that'll be it for reviews in general. Uh, there will be no more reviews for this year. So yeah, we've come to the end here. What a year, right? <laughs> anyway, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take care, and we will talk soon. See ya.